What do a pizza lawsuit, public urination, and a Lambo yacht have in common? Apparently, this man. Kill you! I will kill you! The man yelling calls himself Ace Rogers CEO. He claims to be a multi-millionaire businessman in San Diego. This man talks about all of the good he does for his community. And he posts videos giving away Rolexes to employees. And he posts videos like this one throwing money up in the air so the valet guy can earn a large tip. But it's just a cover that he thinks gives him free license to act like a degenerate D-bag. San Diegans aren't surprised. They know this man terrorizes their city. You think you're better than everybody else? Uh, yes, sir. After seeing this video, I did some research on this guy to see what I'd dig up, and I found more than I bargained for. He sued this mom and pop pizza shop over the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. He harassed bar employees at this tavern and peed on their floor. And he claims to have done a bunch of illegal stuff. He's like King Joffrey, Barney Gumble, and Jordan Belfort all rolled into one. I guess I shouldn't be surprised when the dude acts like this on a regular basis. And what he did at the end of this clip had the internet going crazy. The video itself caught everyone's attention, but what I saw in the comments led me to make this video. The guy's a clown. If you've been to La Jolla, you'll know who he is. Total D-bag that acts like he's untouchable. He drives his Lambo up and down La Jolla Boulevard, revving it all day, acting like he's some kind of alpha lion roaring. Pathetic. It seemed like local San Diego residents knew who this guy was and many shared their opinions. Dude stiffed me on a tip for a Christmas tree delivery once with Lambos parked in his driveway. A quick search on Reddit led me to this post in the San Diego subreddit from a year ago. I work in La Jolla and this guy always comes in, drives really expensive cars, tips ridiculously well, buys other people's meals, and recently saw him with a suitcase of probably 50k in cash just sitting at a table. He has 38,000 followers and his bio claims he's a pro gambler. His timeline is full of him claiming to win money gambling, his Lambo yacht, and his expensive car collection full of luxury vehicles. If there's one thing I know about people like Ace who behave the way he does, there's always something hidden beneath the surface, so I started digging. When I lived on his street, he was always driving in an extremely reckless manner. He always was smoking marijuana while driving. Unsurprisingly, he wrecked one Ferrari on Torrey Pines and crashed into a family in the shores. He is a danger to society. As you'll see in a minute, we might have needed physical protection, but let's talk about digital protection. I want you to keep your identity safe, which is why I always partner with today's sponsor, Aura. My account receives alerts every day notifying me of all of the ways scammers might be trying to find my passwords or personal information. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you, like where you live. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do. Let Aura handle it for you. With their software, they make it easy for you to have an all-in-one password manager, parental controls, antivirus protection, identity theft insurance, and more. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind, like enjoying videos about AI girlfriends or watching college football. Aura wants you to protect your private information, which is why they're offering my audience a 14-day free trial. Go to Aura.com slash Spencer to get a 14 day free trial. How amazing is that? The first of many legal battles Ace found himself in highlights some of his reckless behavior. In June 2022, the Han family filed a personal injury complaint against Gopher Media and AJ Thakor, Ace's real name. As plaintiffs were crossing the street, they were struck by a vehicle driven by defendant AJ Thakor, who was making a left turn from Vallecitos onto La Jolla Shores Drive. Based on the behavior he's shown to other local San Diego residents, I imagine he was a handful to this victim. This isn't related to the accident with the Hans, but I'd be nervous driving on the same street as this risk taker. He flashes signals of wealth on his Instagram, but is he actually wealthy? I started an Arizona basketball website just because I'm a U of A graduate. Their Instagram reached 17,000 followers and covered Arizona basketball pretty extensively until February 2017 when Ace posted an RIP message. Based on this Instagram post, he claims to be at the beach during the weekdays and the books in Vegas on the weekends. This was his fleet of cars in San Diego at the time. And a month later, he posted a picture of his new office in Del Mar. Del Mar is an upper scale area in the north side of San Diego, California. So I think it's fair to assume he was financially well off at this time, but he also is comfortable sharing some of his illegal behavior. Let's, let's do illegal. Illegal? Yeah. I trafficked a bunch of mushrooms from over Mexico to Colorado. Did that make you a lot of money? Hell yeah, it was a better time though. How much money did that make you? Probably a million. It's entirely possible that he's being a troll because if you watch enough of his content, you'll figure out he's desperate for attention. But then he said this next statement, which made me think he may actually have been a thief. A line of eight people. I just take my what I want and I leave. That's pretty simple. Because if you have enough money to handle your customers, you don't have security. See you later. Yeah. 
I didn't want to park in a grocery store parking lot, walk yeah. all the way to the back and get there. Yeah. You're a convenience store. If you don't provide me, keep convenience. I will convenience yeah. myself. This also sounds like he's trolling, but I would not be surprised at all if he made a lot of money as a thief. His behavior that you'll witness throughout this video doesn't represent someone who has money and wealth. What's the most expensive thing you stolen? Well, you know, cars, a couple hundred thousand cars. Yeah, you just put them down in Mexico. They disassemble them, get rid yeah. of the tracking system. It's all good. Yeah. That was a long time ago. You got nothing on me. So if AJ was caught, he would blame the police on being racist because of the color of his skin. That isn't a joke because as you'll find out in a minute, that's his assumption based on everyone not liking him. I found this Tucson Weekly blog post written in May 2015 by Justin Schuster. This would have been when AJ was running the PGU website. We'll get an early glimpse into his anger problems. On the Sunday following the column, the core left five messages in succession on my answering machine, each increasing in tenor and rage as the machine cut him off every 60 seconds. By the third message, this could get confusing, so bear with me, the core threatened to fire someone he was about to hire for a customer service position with his veterinarian design website company, DVM Multimedia. Imagine what this guy would be like after a Tinder date told him no thanks to a second date. To make a long story short, the author of this article was set to receive a promotion if AJ hired the customer service rep, but AJ wanted retaliation. All told, the core left 10 messages over a seven day period. Among the valuable insight he provided, the core is a millionaire. This was reiterated about a half dozen times. I don't mind looking dumb. I make millions, kind of, so what do I care? You guys have fun with your 15 to $20 an hour jobs. I'm going to go check my bank account. Every single time, someone who claims to be a multimillionaire and belittles people about making less than them for fun always seems to be hiding something that would destroy their reputation. The core is a man of power. He was sure to mention this three or four times, including, but not limited to, I'm a man of power and I think you're going to realize the power I have and I'm going to come after you if you want to start a war with me and you're going to make $5 an hour, which is really powerful because it shows the core is capable of usurping federal minimum wage legislation. AJ is about as powerful as a right hook from an untrained featherweight. As is usually the case, anyone who threatens some artificial power that they have ends up being the weakest person. In the eternal words of Tywin Lannister, any man who must say I am the king is no true king. In a tweet directed to AZ Desert Swarm, the core said you stole our info and that article was written by a racist. The tweet included a link to a website, GabeAncinas.com, which hyperlinks to a white supremacist website, WhitePower.com. The reason why I know he did this is because nearly a decade later, he's still doing the same thing. He buys up domain names of people he doesn't like and redirects those websites to porn sites. Said the core during an answering machine tirade, you wanna make it my life's work to make sure you don't work, that I have a vendetta against you, I will. There's nothing illegal about that because I stay within the law, buddy. As AJ posts about how awesome of a person he is and how charitable he is, I want you to remember that he's been this type of vendetta-driven dude for a decade. Sheer, the editor of wildcatauthority.com, a restraining order against the core last year following a slew of messages directed at Shear's wife. Shear says the core also called TUSD while he was a substitute teacher, claiming Shear wasn't utilizing his time in the classroom properly, instead stealing information from Point Guard U. Remember everyone, this is a multi-millionaire and a dude with a bunch of power spending his free time calling a school to rage quit on a substitute teacher. You wouldn't sell your dog? Nigga, please. I'd sell him for fucking, I don't know, a bigger piece. We're obviously dealing with a mature multi-millionaire philanthropist. He does seem to have a fascination with a certain male body part. You're holding that joint. Aren't you going to light it up? I don't smoke weed. No? No, I, I quit. What do you smoke? Uh, I don't know. Penises. A little surprise, we haven't even gotten to the section of the video that shows how insane he really is. We do need to evaluate if he actually is rich. Go for media. We DBA is Dr. Multimedia. We have local clicks and jet digital we have aspen's doghouse we have a lot of things under our main llc but yes dr multimedia is our nine figure company they have a legitimate location in the westfield mall in a nice area within san diego given the size of their staff and the fact that they offer lucrative business services to doctors around the country i wouldn't be surprised if this is a nine figure company how much recurring revenue do you have a month 60 to 80 million coming in depending on and that's just without the gambling and I wouldn't have any way of evaluating these numbers, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's accurate. Despite AJ being a pretty vile human being, I guess he makes multiple millions of dollars per year. If I'm not making millions of dollars gambling a month, I'm making millions of dollars a month anyway. So so do you gamble to the point where you're making mills? A month? I do 10 to 40 million a year gambling. Of course, this isn't true, which is why I'm skeptical of anything AJ says when it comes to success. Similar to Grant Cardone, AJ makes polarizing statements because he has an attention deficit complex. A lot of people don't make three, 400,000. Yeah, they're stupid. You think if you don't make three, 400,000 a year, you're stupid? You're a loser. 
What makes someone a loser is filing the lawsuits he does against local San Diego businesses and engaging in lawfare attempting to shut them down. Tell me about that, you, you gamble a lot. I'm one of the best gamblers in the world. I'm of course he's not, but he is world class at one thing, being a scumbag. Back in November 2021, AJ got into a legal battle with American Pizza Manufacturing, an establishment located on La Jolla Boulevard in an upper scale area known as La Jolla. The beginning of the complaint reads like most lawsuits until you get to paragraph 43 when you realize this is about a parking spot. Yes, a parking spot in front of a pizza business. The Coors lawyer who deserves sanctions based on this complaint spent paragraphs talking about a parking spot. If I was running an advertising campaign, I'd have Allen Iverson as the spokesperson because we're talking about a parking spot. Andrew Malone and APM filed a counterclaim against AJ. Basically, the city of San Diego converted this green area to a 15-minute parking zone. Beginning in October 2020 and continuing through the date of this counterclaim, the Corps, often on a near-daily or weekly basis, would illegally park his luxury high-end vehicles outside of APM. This included double parking in public 15-minute parking spaces for hours at a time and parking for extended periods in the red zone outside of APM. APM alleges the Corps liked to frequent these two restaurants next to APM and was upset with the city's new parking zone, so he threw a temper tantrum. They allege the Corps left hundreds of negative reviews for the pizza business, with numerous coming from the Corps' employees. They received on average six reviews per month, but after AJ's temper tantrum, they were receiving multiple one-star reviews per hour. In a complaint filed by former employees of the Corps a couple years earlier, paragraph 28 alleges, Upon information and belief, defendant the Corps paid employees to write false and fraudulent referrals and reviews on websites. That's coming from former employees of AJ's company, so their claims are likely valid. Back to the pizza lawsuit. On August 14th, 2021, Malone approached the Corps who was standing in front of the store and asked him to take the reviews down. The Corps responded that nobody tells him what to do and that this is only the beginning. I'm shocked that this guy is a tool. Why do you think men are poor? Because they're f***ing losers. How do you fix loser men? Oh, you just they should just all jump off a bridge. On August 20, 2021, the Corps approached Malone while he was in an alley by the store disposing of trash and the Corps said, how do you like those reviews? Get ready, there's a thousand more where those came from. Despite his alleged wealth, AJ's behavior is that of someone who has handed his money from the bank of daddy. I don't think I've ever covered someone on this channel who sounds more entitled than this dude. Counterclaimants worked with Google representatives to identify and remove the fake reviews. Google reps told counterclaimants they recognized the Corps and Dr. Multimedia as past offenders of posting false reviews, which Google relied on to expedite the removal of the false reviews. This is a major reason why review websites are flawed. People like AJ can game the system against anyone who they don't like like. Reminder that this is all because of a parking spot change from the city of San Diego. AJ parked his cars outside the restaurant and left notes on the cars in hopes that people would see the notes and not eat there. Have you ever seen someone with such little class? But it actually gets even worse. He paid to have a plane fly overhead with a note about how bad the pizza restaurant was. As if that wasn't enough, he then offered people $100 to call the restaurant and tell them their opinion by posting these messages on his Instagram. One night, the restaurant was confused because they received numerous calls about their pizza sucking and how they should be shut down for kicking a dog. Obviously, they were confused until they looked at his Instagram. Kicks handicapped dogs, uses frozen crust, hates anyone of color, despises the First Amendment, and gets sued for $10 million. If you support take and bake pizza, you support animal abuse, racism, and frozen crust. There are some people in this world who don't deserve freedom, and I think we're seeing a perfect example of this with AJ. Even worse is he turned it into a big deal with the local newspaper. AJ also posted on his Instagram that they called him this racist term. People who abuse the legal system to file frivolous lawsuits and publicly defame an innocent business are legitimately some of the worst humans on the planet. The worst part about all of this is AJ got this triggered over the pizza restaurant abiding by the city's parking spot designation nation and not allowing temper tantrum boy to park there. On November 10, 2021, the Corps parked in front of APM, opened a briefcase that appeared to have thousands of dollars in cash, and dumped it out on the sidewalk in front of the store with customers present while the Corps said, this is suit money mother this loser goes everywhere with wads of cash because his insecurities are too overbearing when he doesn't let everyone around him know how much money he supposedly has. He was wandering around Vegas the other day with cash on hand. This dude is one of the biggest losers on social media. Another problem is that he's allegedly a little violent. Immediately after the pizza restaurant filed their counterclaim, this happened. A sign outside their store was slashed. They had their windows smashed. And they had graffiti painted on their walls in an upscale area in San Diego. 
Hmm, I wonder who that could have been. Is this how an actual wealthy person behaves? He may have money, but he clearly has zero class and probably has even fewer friends. I'm at this Ogara in La Jolla and they're my Lambo dealership. Yeah. And this guy, his name's Zach. He's like not the coolest guy in the world, but you know, he's definitely not like transsexual, yeah. but you know, he might as well be. Despite earning a lot of money, Ace still appears to be in a phase where he's cosplaying as an edgelord. He allows me to be him, me and he never judges me. Yeah. No matter what I say, and I say a lot of like, yeah. hey, I did this. He's like, yeah, good. I'm like, okay, man, that's like completely illegal. He's like, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. We love you. Let's, we, we'll bail yeah. you out. In late 2021, he held an event at his house where he proceeded to buy his goodwill with the locals. There was a light show and he gave away cash. Around that same time, the Corps began to regularly visit and have problems with another local business. Nautilus Tavern is located on La Jolla Boulevard, about a half a mile down the street from America Pizza Manufacturing. As you can guess by now, he eventually sued them, alleging one of the employees offended him by saying that he wasn't that rich and that the establishment was racist. Nautilus Tavern filed a cross complaint against Ajay. In 2022, the Corps was a frequent visitor of Nautilus Tavern, a popular sports bar in La Jolla, California. The Corps repeatedly bullied and harassed staff and patrons at Nautilus Tavern, causing multiple employees and managers to quit, and he was banned from the business. Once banned, the court continued to threaten Nautilus Tavern's employees. AJ is feared because he's already shown to be violent towards a business with the slashing of a sign, smashing of windows, and graffiti, but I also need to show you when he was violent towards his employees. In the same lawsuit I showed earlier about the former employees alleging fake reviews, Defendant the Corps threatened Plaintiff Hoffman with a knife and in a separate incident threatened Plaintiff Spain with a knife, vandalizing Plaintiff Spain's vehicle with the knife, actually breaking the sunroof and piercing the outside of the vehicle with it, and ultimately chased Plaintiff Spain into his yard with the knife. The lawsuit claims he ultimately pled guilty to these crimes, so keep that in mind when Nautilus Tavern alleges they feared his retaliation tactics. Watch this next clip and then listen to what they allege and see if it sounds accurate. What, what do you do when, when uh, or what do you have to say to people that like to split bills or have you ever been in the- Oh, you're losing. Losers, you're f***ing losers. You should kill yourself. Don't reproduce. Don't have children. You're f***ing losers. Yeah, because you know what I'm talking about, right? It's like, don't I, reproduce. I don't they're reproduce. Like, they're like, my daughter doesn't want to f*** you. Don't reproduce. Prior to being banned from Nautilus Tavern, the Corps spent money lavishly at the business. In doing so, the Corps made clear to the business's employees that his spending should entitle him to certain privileges. Among them, the Corps demanded that patrons who he called poor losers be removed from Nautilus Tavern at his discretion, that certain managers at the business be prohibited from speaking to him and fired, that the company should install a sign that said don't talk to Ace unless he talks to you, and that the bar should reserve a permanent seat and dog bed for him and his dog. Here's the list of demands he sent the manager. And then he went nuclear. In the top left, he claims to have the perfect life with his hot girlfriend, his Lambos, his dogs, and a $100 million company. In the top right, AJ alleges this happened because Courtney's sleeping with Kyle. He further claims that they screwed over their best customer because Kyle couldn't sleep with a pretty girl. Considering this is a nice area full of people who are well off, it's right by the beach, it's in Southern California. Think of how much of a culture shock you'd experience dealing with a lunatic like Ace. Here are the texts of AJ raging at ownership telling them to have fun getting sued, then calls them racist, then asks for a refund for all the tips he left at the restaurant. In case it isn't obvious by now, AJ's only value in this world is his ability to hand people money. He doesn't do it out of generosity, in my opinion. He does it to treat them like they're his peasants. AJ then posted on his Instagram, is there anyone in La Jolla that hasn't had sex with Dave Odemark's wife, Karen? Besides me, of course, because I don't sleep with Karens. And then he says, you want the war now, you got one. And cokehead Kyle sleeps with ugly women. And I'm going after his wife and the place he works for until he appeases me. You have a really nice personality. I great. You, you know, Look you, at this. You, you, Imagine this is a black dick. <laughs> the core then directed his anger toward Odmark and his wife, declaring on his Instagram account that Dave and Karen Odmark love their black jokes, do not visit Nautilus Tavern, racist pricks. According to the lawsuits, AJ loves playing the race card and how everyone is jealous of him because of how rich he is. I'm pretty confident that no one even wants to be his friend. This next incident is why he has no friends. After being banned, the court entered the bar on a weeknight and ordered a shot of alcohol. The bartender alerted Nautilus Tavern's management of the court's presence at the bar to ensure no conflict ensued. Before management arrived, the court urinated on the floor underneath the bar, poured his shot on the ground without taking a drink, and then immediately left after paying for his drink. The core's urination was partially captured on film and shown to the police. The story sounds wild, but believe it or not, he has a history of peeing in public. The bathroom for the men's bathroom is too crowded, so I just snuck into the janitor's room and I'm pissing in the janitor's thing. You're probably thinking, hey, I've been drunk before, but this was at the Super Bowl. See, I can teach you how to be rich. I, I don't follow rules. Now watch this. 
irony of peeing in a janitor's closet while you're claiming to be rich isn't lost on me, but the next part highlights what he really thinks of other people. You think I'm waiting in that? You think I wait for men lower than me? These men are lower men than me. I don't wait for men. I'm the man. Understand that. Says the guy who peed in a janitor's closet. I worked in an arena in my previous career and the real ballers with money all have access to a private bathroom, but also they never act with such low class behavior. Approximately a week or so after the urination incident, when the court again tried to re-enter the bar and was told he was banned, the court admitted to Nautilus Tavern manager Kyle that, yeah, I did piss on the floor. He walked into this restaurant in La Jolla, California and peed on the floor while other people were there filming him. This dude is such an embarrassment to all of society. What, why, do you, why do you think people criticize me? Though? They, they talk a lot of... Because uh, they're poor. They're losers. And you're brown. Like so, some, people, and, so, some people, you know, they used to be here and then they, they leave. And then they start all these uh, rumors and gossip and, and all this crap they talk about. Oh, glass door and Looking through AJ's business, Glassdoor highlights some unsurprising allegations, such as CEO posted on LinkedIn telling me to off myself after I quit to work for a competitor, and another alleging they worked tirelessly to remove bad reviews. This same allegation was prevalent in the lawsuit filed by his former employees. They also claim he was committing some kind of fraud. Upon information and belief, defendant the court also participated in and encouraged a company culture of sexism, harassment, threats of violence, drug and alcohol abuse, including defendant the court providing to and using unlawful substances with employees and fraud. They also alleged they engaged in fraudulent billing practices, which included clients being charged for services that were not rendered. Just because an employee claims it's true in a lawsuit doesn't mean they've been charged with a crime, but after all you've seen from AJ, would you be surprised if it's true? Let's go back to the boat video now that we know a little about him. Flashing a dock worker after threatening to kill him seems to be in line with his previous behavior. If you're a business owner in La Jolla, be careful around this dude. He'll attempt to hypnotize you with money and then pee on your floor. This is the property where he hosted the charity event, which included his address. I found his mortgage information using batch leads. He bought the property in 2021, but took out an 8.75% interest rate mortgage a couple years later. The dude has some dough. He bought a $4.75 million property with cash, but I found it peculiar as to why he'd get a mortgage a couple years later. This is another property he owns in La Jolla. He took out a mortgage a few months prior at 9.37% interest. I'll do 7% all day. I'll refinance on 7% because I can pay 100, 200 grand more well, a month. Would you cash out money at 7% to get that cash in and, and reinvest it? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cash it out just to place a bet. How much do you make a month gambling on average? You know, that's, I know you think that's a good, it's not a good question. It's, just, it's impossible. It's, it goes in such crazy cycles that I can't average the last 20 years. But you always win though. No. I win about 78% of the time. I have a suspicion that AJ makes a lot of money, but gambles most of it away. He talks like a degenerate gambler and his behavior does not indicate someone who is wealthy. His business is legitimate and they seem to be doing serious revenue. Their office space is in a premier location and they have a lot of employees. Saying this is a nine figure company is probably not a stretch, but something doesn't seem right with this guy. Listen to what he says in podcasts. Coming in a girl's ass, I mean, it's Amazing. I love coming to my girl's ass, but as she says, it's a delicacy. What do you like Bitch, better? Bitch, you're not Wagyu. What isn't delicate is how Ace handles his PR. Let's go back to the yacht. How much was the Lambo uh, yacht? $4.5 million. And, and did you did you put a down payment or how'd you no, get that? No, you had to pay it all. You got to pay it off? I mean, four payments of $1.3 million. I would not be surprised if he took out a mortgage on his property so he could buy the Lambo yacht, the vessel for him to flash the dock worker. Speaking of... How many crimes can you commit in one YouTube video? Indecent exposure, public lewdness, disorderly conduct, and threatening to kill someone are what I came up with. He not only pees in public restaurants, but now he's flashing dock workers while yelling at them. Man, I'm a double down guy. I'm Martingale. If gambling is like his personality, then he's a massive loser. Thanks for watching.